my teammates and I have said that arming the right people can help prevent crimes and disasters like some of the school shootings that took place in Tennessee and many other schools as well as bar in, a bar and grill in Nevada. The, the teachers had concealed weapons at the school shootings and stopped the incident before anyone could be injured or killed. That's why you never heard of them. And at the same thing was true for the Nevada Bar and Grill. There was a concealed weapon that helped fight off the shooter before anything serious happened. And if we were to take the guns away, it would put people in, dangers, in danger. Not all places in America are safe. Crime or wild animals can pose danger to citizens, and guns are a great means of protection. Without them, many innocent Americans would be scared for their lives. Taking away guns would also violate our Second Amendment rights and go against our Founding Fathers' plans to protect this country. They fought for our freedom, and so we should not go against what they started and founded this great country. We would also like to point out that not all crimes are committed with guns. In, in fact, a report done on Charles Whitman by Real Common Sense states that most of the mass murders that he committed had, with the highest death toll did not even involve any firearms. We still have like guns and explosives and the crazy people that commit these crimes out there. As sh shown by our evidence, crimes will be, be committed whether there are guns or not. According to many experts, specifically Dan O'Brien, an experienced journal author, crimes and murder take place without the use of guns. People are the ones committing the crimes, not the guns. So instead of tightening gun control, it would make more sense to tighten people control and watch out for the type of people we have in our society. Although that it would be immoral to just take away people because you think they're bad, it would be more, it would make more sense than gun control because guns aren't the ones that are hurting people, it's the people who pull the trigger. So instead of striking down on guns, government should strike down on those who abuse the gun or commit crimes. If we punish those who are responsible for committing the crime, it will be way more effective than taking away guns. As stated by Brian Wilson, it seems like common sense. If you take all the guns off the streets, violent crime would take a nosedive. There are two problems with this argument. You'd go on to list all the problems, but I will paraphrase and give my own reasons. Basically what he was trying to say, people have good intentions when they say they want to get rid of guns and therefore stop mass killings and other types of violent crimes. But they are going about it all wrong. Taking away guns will not get rid of violent crimes. Without guns, we still have many other means of committing the crimes. Knives, explosives, you name it. Guns are only a fraction of the problem, and taking them away will, will not solve anything. It will in, only inconvenience those who use guns appropriately for hunting or trick shooting. Putting gun control in place might seem like the right thing to do, but taking away guns won't make our society any safer. As we, our evidence shows, it is guns who kill people. Or guns don't kill people, people do. So don't punish everyone for the actions of few. I want to say there is other weapons that kill people, but the numbers that compare to each other are not even close. From a reliable source, we have total knives killing at 9,075 since 2007 and explosive 18. Those don't match up to the numbers of total firearm killing, which is 47,726. If we take guns out of that picture, those are 30,801 lives saved. If To say that those numbers don't matter, it's just being stubborn. And they're also saying that the Second Amendment, they had the gun control is should, that everyone should be allowed to have guns. Well, that was about 300 years ago. 
to not realize that the guns are getting more powerful, dangerous, and lethal is being stubborn again. You have to accept change because change is coming. There are many lives that are getting taken away from gun, from by guns, and to not have them be at least restricted to the point where not anyone can walk into a store and say, can I have a gun and get a gun, is just idiotic. Opponents may say that guns help protect members of our society because people kill people, guns mean kill people, but we disagree. We believe the United States should have restricted gun laws due to massive shootings and numerous deaths caused by guns. We think gun regulations should be changed so we can have a better community. According to the article, strong gun control laws will save lives. If guns really keep us safe, the United States will be the safest nation in the world. Since we want to estimate 270 million firearms, approximately 90 guns per, per every 100 people. So this means there is one, almost one gun per every person, meaning there is a larger chance for death caused by guns. Death caused by firearms are not always intentional. There are many deaths that occur on accidental from firearms, but we can prevent this accidental death by having strict gun. Based on my gun, based on my research, gun control laws will save lives. Start stated, although many people on guns and self protection studies have repeatedly shown <coughs> a gun in a home increases the risk of firearm-related death or injuries to a household member. As stated above, after the death caused by guns is possible. If there is a gun in a home, children or even pets have the opportunity to get their hands on it. In my recent experience watching young guns of 20 to my dance family, even children that had the background knowledge of the armed guns due to people and other living things still playing. These children were pointing them at their faces and at others. One child even caught saying it didn't click. Providing children know how guns really work and how awful they can be. If we were to have stricter gun laws that were very people from purchasing guns and bringing them into their homes, then there wouldn't be so many accidents that's occurring at home. The children wouldn't have exposure or access to these weapons. If people want a safer community, why would you want stricter gun laws? These strict gun laws will reduce gun-related deaths and provide us with the community where we feel safe <coughs> to go out in public and over friends and home. My opponent may say that if people own guns, there will be more gun-related crime for deaths and accidents. Just because a person owns a gun doesn't mean that they will automatically commit a crime. If someone wants to commit a crime, they'll find a way to do it. Guns are just a way to commit that crime. Guns are also good for self-defense. You're better protected and actually prevent crimes. Um, they, my opponent may say, if more people, oh, Guns don't go off unless the trigger is pulled. Therefore, a person must decide to pull the trigger of a gun or not. 